First seat in the water, heat number five of this opening round. Felipe Toledo, Connor O'Leary, and Justin Becret. Three surfers, two advancing to the round of 32, and third place in this heat is going to move on into that elimination round following this opening round heat. And this will win. You know, everything's going to be getting down the face as fast as you can. Regret on his way to a good score as he get, comes out of that barrel. Really, really cold. Some guys with hoods and boots and some really power, powerful surf there. So, woo. It's on, guys. It's on. It's on. It's on. Right. We're on. Bom dia, Portugal. Let's go. Camille Muffat, a, uh, to celebrate International Women's Day. Camille, a French uh, swimmer, three-time gold medalist. And Felipe Toledo. Now he's going to drop the hat right there, getting a nice little start for Toledo. These surfers are going to have to surf. And then the elements of, of all of the, the, the cold. I mean, I feel like that's going to drain energy. So being able to manage that, I mentioned it yesterday, how you manage all of the elements that we're dealing with today. And it's, uh, it's critical. You just got to stay out of those zones and move into the clean, smoother, darker water. And then you hope that a big peak comes your way. Oh, dropping <laughs> into that one. And that looked like it was Justin. And uh, he did everything he could to be underneath that thing and still pin dropped. Interesting uh, in the locker room, right? The locker room's there, but you're all against each other. Similar to, oh, look at this. Justin Bacret grabs the rail, lets go of it to get a pump in, but no exit. Double up here for Connor O'Leary. O'Leary on a tapered shoulder and again, just searching for a completion. And uh, we talked about Felipe Toledo. We'll get back to that just because Justin Bacret, well, we can keep on talking about that now. <laughs> another, another wave for Justin Bacret and uh, incomplete priority with Felipe Toledo. He's out there in the red jersey right in the center of your screen. It's going to be Conor O'Leary that takes the dig here, finds the left. Some frothy section stalls there and really nothing for that effort. So he's going to continue on his search for a meaningful score and the good wave. Here we go. Toledo identifies this left, gets into it, knives to the bottom, grabbing rail, gets behind the curtain, little spit section, and a completion, and that's going to turn the heat for Felipe Toledo. There'll be some currents that'll move around. Look at that drop, just drifting, and disappears from view. So it's just definitely going to be the most significant score in this heat so far. He already has the 2.67 for the right that he had earlier, which is the best wave of the heat so far until this score comes in. But love that drop, just drifting. It actually put him in position to be in the barrel after that because it slowed him down. That we're going to see in this heat. Right behind him, Connor O'Leary. Little froth to deal with. And kicks out nice and early to avoid that inside crunch section. You know, you still have that current kind of flowing down the beach. O'Leary again. Clean left. Nice entrance. Perfect exit. Nice execution. Kicks out. So. Connor O'Leary with a paced and logical approach right now to the way of making sure that he had a make. Let's take a look here. This is Justin Becret. There we go. Four point ride for this one. Nicely done. Nice stall there again. Speed control there. Dragging his bum. Slows him down. This is going to be another good score. So this is uh, great for Picret, his first championship tour event here. This is a big moment for him. This happened during the replays. Quick in and out for Felipe Toledo. Conor O'Leary got one too, Pete. And let's see again. Look at they're starting to figure it out, how to get down the face quicker. Nice stall there once again. The one thing Conor has been finding, though, is just he needs to get deep. He has to disappear from view to get that score numbers up. You know, his last wave there was a 2.43. And the judge is taking note. you got to get deep if you're going to get the number for a barrel ride. Here we go. Justin stalls on a smaller wave, but wants to ensure an entry and an exit. Little grab rail down carve kicks out. He's going to get that 1.93, but he is going to open himself up for a, a response from Connor O'Leary. So 1.93, I think he got that, Pete. Oh, he did. And, you know, it's a good move. You know, he saw that thing, opportunity was going to give him an exit, knowing only needs a two. Pulled it off, and he's going to get a pretty good number just because he did. He's gone for view. It's not going to be a big, but it's definitely going to get the score. 
especially with the maneuver at the end. O'Leary looks interested, but Toledo uses his priority, drops through a draining section there, does everything he can just to keep his fins in the water. <laughs> he was definitely getting some lift, wasn't he? <laughs> Horn sounds. It's going to be Felipe Toledo and Justin Percret onto the round, the 32. We're going to see Conor O'Leary in that elimination round.